Welcome back to the Whiskey Explorer. And tonight we've got a special episode because I have my good buddy here, Brad the Fish. <laughs> He's joining us for Brother. a whiskey review. And, Absolutely. And yeah, and his, uh, when, I, when I kind of offered or when I wanted him to be on the show, do a guest appearance, um, I had just gotten this bottle right here, which is the Macallan 12 Double Cask. So this was a uh, present for my brother for my birthday. And Brad, when he saw this bottle that I had this one, he said, that's the one we got to do. Commented first. I yeah. said, that's the one we got to open. Yeah, got to open that up, got to try that. So that's what we're going to try tonight. So just a little bit about the Macallan Distillery. Huge heavyweight in the whiskey industry. I was just telling this to Brad just before we rolled on this shot. Um, people who, li who like Macallan and drink Macallan tend to love Macallan. Huge Macallan fans. So big output uh, um, Speyside distillery, so this one's a spay, so you're going to probably get up lots of fruity flavors in there. Um, and this one is bottled at 40%, and it says matured exclusively in the perfect balance of sherried seasoned American and European oak casks. So there we go. There we have it. So that's a little background on there. It's a lot to handle, but... So it's a lot to handle, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was wanting to know, I'm pretty sure... Um, correct me down below in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure McAllen always does unchill filtered, uncolored, which is what we're looking for. And this one here is bottled at 40 ABV, so a little bit disappointing on the mm -hmm. ABV, but we'll we talked about it. that earlier. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, I was. T we were talking about how I like to see them at at least 43 percent, preferably closer to 46 percent. That's sort of the range I like them. 50, 46 percent and higher is my sweet spot. So okay. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, shall we try a dram? 100%. Sounds good. Dram it is. Dram it is. Perfect. Oh, oh. The cork sound. Yeah, I love the cork sound. You know it. You know I love it. Here we go. Well, we're going to smell the cork. Oh yeah, we got to smell the cork. 100%. You, you, I did. <laughs> Jeff should know from his previous videos that we, we always smell, the, smell cork. the cork. I mean, he knows this, but we're going to do it. I don't know why. He says he doesn't know why, but we're going to find out. That's really interesting. So I'm getting like white wine on the, on the, on the cork there. Yeah. Like that was like the immediate, it just, that smell hit me right away. And I was like, that's like a sweet Riesling white wine. Absolutely. Do you get that? Ab yeah, I absolutely do. I mean, power of suggestion and everything, of course, but no, but no. Yeah. Like absolutely. Yeah. So well, what we're going to do is we're going to nose it. And we're going to taste it and give you guys what we find. So we'll do the nosing first. So I'll uh, pour uh, Brad a nice, healthy dram here. Oh, yeah, that's a good well, that's one. A nice, healthy, that's nice, a good one. That's a nice, healthy dram. There we go. What's better than drinking whiskey? Drinking whiskey with friends. 100%. Right? So, so happy to have Brad on the show. I'm very fortunate because I get to learn a whole lot of different things from Jeff. Um, and I, I'm learning, too, through my journey. So it's fun. It's fun to share the knowledge. Absolutely. And, I, I poured nice two, two monster drams here. Two so. real great drams. So Friday night, it's right? Friday, Friday night, we, we might as well, right? 100%. So take a take a little sniff there. Now, Jeff, you're gonna have to walk me through because this is this is my first time ever going through something like this. Yeah, I mean, like, so I this is your first nosing, it, you know, for you know via through a dram and such. I mean, yeah. So so I I usually do it. So they they recommend when you're nosing to um, have your mouth slightly open. And then for the Glen Cairn, they're, they're specifically designed with that tulip shape so that it holds the oils of the whiskey here and releases it upward into the glass. Okay. So you get a really nice nosing that's, I think, like I've tried both. Like I've tried whiskey out of a tumbler and whiskey out of this, and this is far superior in terms of the nose you can pick up okay. off of it. So. And then basically just, you can get your nose right in there if you want. Yeah, that's it. Right in there. Good. And then you sort of just, just, just describe what it is you smell. Yeah, it, it, it smells uh, an oaky to a point, like woody to, to a situation. Yeah. It's very... Totally. I mean, it's I not quite... I mean, like, I, I mean, like, I know the scent of, like, what cedar is, but it's not... Not, not that, because, I mean, I, cedar is very distinct, but it's very... You know, it's... You know, the best way to describe it is, like, I don't know, I'm almost in the middle... You know, like the forest or something like that. Like it's just like something. I think the oaky was a good was a good note. Yeah, maybe that's sure. what it is. Yeah. 
I get some sweetness in there for sure. Like I get hundred percent. I I definitely I definitely as I get a little bit deeper into to um, the, the nose of it that it's um, the sweetness like almost like a fr- I don't know is it fruit. Yes, is it a little bit? Yeah, it is a hundred percent. So the but, spi- but like it's almost like sm- like a fruit like I don't know. My nose takes me to very distinct like a cherry. I don't. Maybe yeah, that could be it. Is no, that- I think that's it for sure. Um, I, mean, I could be wrong 100%, but... No, no, I think you're on the right track there. And this is a Speyside whiskey, so Speysides tend to have that friendlier, fruity vibe to them. So right away, I, I was kind of like getting, like, sweet grapes, maybe, was, like, one I was picking out. But I like I like yours on the cherry. That's a good note. I find what I... is what I, I find very interesting is, and one thing I've learned from watching um, the previous episodes is, is that, I mean, I think that over time, as you, you nose it a little bit, different things come out. Absolutely. And so now that, and being in, in that experience with you, I think that I've nosed it, you know, I what I thought was very strong to being very strong and woody to it's actually gone a little bit different as I've nosed it more. Mm-hmm. And I think you can you can almost smell that sherry influence in there. It's kind of got a sweet, it's quite a bit of sweet sherry finish in there. Yeah. In the cask. Um, and I like yours was the, with like the cherry. I yeah. definitely get like a, like get a, a deep that? cherry for sure, for sure. Sweet. I get a little bit of butterscotch, maybe some caramel, some vanilla at the end. I mean, it's really hard for me to not be crazy. I, it just smells real good. Yeah. <laughs> it just smells real good. That's so. a good note, too, for sure. All right, should we go in for a taste? 100%. Okay, cilantro. Cheers. Cilantro. Cheers. Mmm. Pretty smooth. So, so, so Jeff. So, from somebody who doesn't, um, as a first time to the whiskey sport, like I mean, I enjoy drinking scotch, but not. I, I mean, in this realm, what's the best way to taste it? Because um, <clears throat> I so, know that for you, from the videos that I watched, that you drink it in a very distinctive way. I feel like I yeah, think it's so that you 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 sip it, and I think that you really taste it. So, how would somebody do that? So, I sort of take it. Um, I don't go quite as far as like um, some of the guys that I've seen that swish it around their mouth like mouthwash. That's Fair just like a little bit too Fair much enough, for me. Yeah. Um, and it's just I yeah, it just doesn't feel authentic. So I just kind of I try to take it in and then I let I let it kind of rest in my mouth for a little bit. Yeah. And kind of try to get it through all the edges of my palate. Okay. Down my tongue and then I'll okay. I'll take a swallow and kind of okay. see how the finish is. Okay. How do you like that? The first note is that it's absolutely delicious. Yeah. It is absolutely It is a nice whiskey. Such a great taste. It is a nice whiskey. I opened this actually at a birthday celebration at my my folks' place, shared it around. Everyone loved the Macallan, you know, it's a crowd pleaser. It's uh yeah, it definitely lives up to I mean for somebody who doesn't drink a lot of scotch, it definitely lets you know and the name I mean it's a very regal strong name and I think it lives up to it. Yeah. I think it's it it, it it's it's delicious. Um any flavors you're picking out there from your your tasting? I mean, after I mean, I mean, obviously after uh, the initial sip, it seemed a little it seemed a little tart in the beginning, but I think that's like most. Yeah. Once you and then it really the, the body builds. Um, I think it's um, at this point where it is with me right now, I find it a little bit sweet, mm-hmm. and I think that's a very a very good aspect because I think you know. Yeah, I think that's your wheelhouse for whiskeys. Yeah, and I think that, that that's kind of where I'm at for whiskey. I I don't think I'm a peaty guy. I've had some peaty ones, and I'm I'm not interested in yeah. the whole life. They get real peaty, but this one is, this one has checked all the marks. That and from what I've it being very limited to what, um, you know, the whiskey is. I I definitely think this is fun. This is great. Yeah, you like this one. One hundred percent. Good. So um, I'm I'm gonna have another sip. So yeah, maybe. absolutely. Um, so yeah, as Brad was saying, I get quite quite a bit of sweetness in there and it's it's hard to kind of describe what the fruits are that I'm getting but I do get quite a bit of fruit in there I just don't know exactly it's hard to put my finger yeah, on what you know fruits what I'm, they are I'm exactly yeah I, I don't it's it's and I do get so I do get definitely a good barrel um, note of the oak in there on the finish the finish to me is quite dry 
yeah. and yeah. drying in the palate too, like a drying feeling in your mouth, almost like after you've had like a really good like red wine, like a good Merlot or something like that, like a dry yeah. dry Merlot. It has that drying feeling. Excuse me. Yeah. On the palate, and um, and then I get that oak hint at the back. So the back end, like the finish, is all oak for me. Yeah, I think that's what's one of the greatest qualities of it. I think there, it, it, as well, I mean, it starts well and it finishes well. Because it kind of takes you on a bit of a journey, right? Because like up front and through the mid palate, it's fruity, it's flavorful, pretty full-bodied whiskey. 100%, yeah. Nice and sweet with the sherry finish. And then the, the end is totally different. The end is like, that's where you have kind of like more of yeah, a peppery it, note. Yeah, um, it is. Some barrel spice. I got the feeling of it being like I don't know, like maybe forgiving in the sense, but it's not, you know, like I don't. It kind of just hits all all of the taste buds. For yeah. me, anyway, it does. And and so just took another sip there, and on the on the palate uh, to start as it enters, lots of sweetness. So caramel, butterscotch, bit of vanilla, and then that kind of transitions towards. The mid palate to being more of that oak influence, so a little bit more, a little more yeah. bite to it, a little more pepper, a little more spice, almost like black pepper, almost. Yeah, it's definitely got a spice kick, 100 percent. Ding, that's a good way. I didn't think of, yeah, I never, I never thought of that in the, in the initial. Mm-hmm. Good whiskey though, and it's not typically my wheelhouse because I'm normally more of a PD kind of islands or island guy. Kind of yeah. more of a PD guy. Yeah, totally. See, but I, I mean, I definitely tried some PD ones, and I, I've never been. They've just kind of turned me off on the initial. Maybe I just haven't given them a chance. Maybe I'll like PD once after try listening to more of the Whiskey Explorer. <laughs> yeah, so that was my evolution, right? So I started with the more sweet ones. The first one I bought was the Dalmore 12. And that's sort of a more friendly Highland whiskey, right? Yeah. And then I started kind of getting into more complex whiskeys and tried some more PD ones. Ended up really liking them. So that was kind of my journey too. So you, uh, you typically, this is where you start. Okay. Start the journey here. It's good to know. And Macallan, I mean, geez, you really kind of can't go wrong with no, I mean, the Macallan spoiled, brand there. Like, this is... That's a good one. I enjoy the bottle. The bottle's super like, the cool. Bottle, like, I, I'm, uh, I'm a very aesthetic guy. Uh, like, like that's pretty, uh, a pretty I darn mean, elegant bottle. I right? mean, the guy like it pretty pretty simple, pretty regal, pretty, you know... That checks the boxes, hey? 100%. And, yeah. you know, the box that it comes in is fantastic as well. Yeah. I mean, There's I think it's... Uh, gift box there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I mean, it's fantastic. And, you know, like, I don't, uh... And one thing we, we want to mention here, too, is that this is the double cask edition of the Macallan 12. Oh. As far as I know, there's actually, a, in Europe, they release a triple cask. And I haven't tried that one yet, but oh, this wow. is this is quite good. So, I'd recommend checking out the Macallan 12 if you haven't yet, the now, double cask. Um... And should we let this one air out when we put it in as well? Is, Normally, is yes. So I mean, normal, it's okay. normally, so the the general rule of thumb is so this is a twelve year old whiskey. I've learned from previous videos that apparently you it's one is it one year one minute for one, every year. Sorry, so one one year. Sorry, one minute to every year that it is old. Is that's that right. You is got that correct? it. Yeah. Perfect. We're learning something on this channel. That's right. There we go. So all right. So should we end it there, Brad? Should we? Should, should, well, what do we do? Do we? Well, we're gonna drink. We're not gonna drink this all at once. So no, no. We'll, we'll we'll sip these after. We'll sip these. Absolutely. All right. Well, cheers until next week, guys. Absolutely. Salancha. It, it's been a pleasure, Salancha.